Hey friends, what's going on? This is David Potts with Song Notes and a super quick video today where I'm gonna demonstrate the process of tuning your guitar out of pitch standard tuning, you know, concert pitch of 440 hertz, which is what all tuners by default use. Sometimes you need to deviate from that in order to play along with a popular song. For example, Mary Jane's Last Dance by Tom Petty is tuned with the instruments to 453 hertz instead of 440. So that means even if you're in standard tuning, they're in standard tuning, you're playing A minor, Tom Petty plays an A minor, when you play along with that song, it sounds like something's off. One of you is higher than the other and it, it sounds like you need to add a capo or tune your guitar differently. You do need to tune your guitar differently, but it's not what you think. So let me explain this process and um, get you on your way here. So to demonstrate this, I want to pull up on my phone this app called Tunable. Now Tunable is the app that I have used for guitar tuning for a couple of years now happily. So you pull it up and you're going to see it basically has an audio meter thing where I play a note that's the low E string, so that's telling me that's an E, and I'm in the green, I'm in good shape, right? So this is what I used to tune. Um, I've used this for years quite happily. I also do have this clip-on tuner which is great as well, so I'll use this. Now, you might notice something. Down here in the bottom right, it says A equals 440. If I click on that, I get some options, some tuner settings. This is actually really nice. A lot of apps will make you pay like an extra fee um, to unlock this. Tunable, I think I might have had to pay to get it, but um, totally worth it. Um, I've used it for many years happily, and so I recommend this app. Basically, what I've just done though is I've, t I've changed that Concert A calibration from 440 to 453. Now in different tuning apps, this is gonna be in a different place. Some things might not have this. For example, this built-in tuner, it's just kind of hardwired at 440, right? So everything you get, when you, when you play an E and it tells you you're playing a perfect E, that's relative to you know the concert pitch of A4 equals 440. Again, for Mary Jane's Last Dance, we need to go up to A equals 453, and now let's tune the guitar. And what's gonna happen is all my notes are suddenly flat, okay? So let's get my E nice and good. That's good enough. Get my A nice and good, okay? my D nice and good. All right, my G is in good shape. As long as it's close enough. And then we play a chord and it sounds what you want is for, you play an E major chord, it sounds like a chord that's in tune. You know, it's, it's, it sounds good. Um, so now, if we were to put on Mary Jane's Last Dance by Tom Petty, that first chord, that A minor is totally much more in tune than it would have been if I was back in standard tuning and I did the same A minor. So that's the process. I'm basically in tune now. If I was to play any of my notes, my tuner is gonna tell me I'm pretty much in good shape. But here's the funny part, is if I was to take this tuner now and put it on, because this one is still referencing everything around the 440 hertz thing, it's gonna say I'm way sharp, if you can kind of see that right there. Right, my E is way sharp, my A is way sharp, my D is way sharp, etc. So again, it's all based on what your sort of, um, your standard pitch, your reference pitch is. And uh, I forget the proper terminology there. 440 is what most popular music uses most of the time. Like 99% of the time, that's gonna be what you're playing in. Now some orchestras play differently. I'm sure other cultures um, and all over the place have their own pitch thing. But that's gonna be the process basically is get a tuner. If it's a good tuner, it will give you the option on where to change that hertz for your concert A or concert pitch or your A4. You wanna change it from 440 to whatever the song in question asks you to do. Uh, Don't Look Back in Anger, for example, is tuned to 451 hertz. So you would go in there, change to 451. Hey friends, what's going on? So I'm editing this video and I wanna add one quick note here just to make sure this is clear. When we're talking about the hertz and pitch standard and all that stuff, that's totally separate from standard tuning. These are things that are independent of each other, okay? Um, in other words, when, when uh, you're playing like Guns N' Roses or Nirvana or Green Day and it says tune down a half step, 
You want to stay in 440 hertz unless it, unless it tells you otherwise. Always stay in 440 unless it tells you otherwise. If it says tune down a half step or do drop D or do dad gab or tune down a whole step, do it. But know that the 440 thing, that's staying put unless you specifically hear that you should change that pitch, which is like super rare. I don't know if I've ever done it before in 20 years of playing guitar until I filmed this video. That's my quick note. I wanted to add that in there to make sure it's clear. Thank you for watching. Um, so that's basically the idea. Again, you can get the PDF I have for Mary Jane's Last Dance at my website if you're interested in learning this song. I have a video lesson for it, which is free, and this PDF is available to my monthly supporters on Patreon. Thanks to all of you who are supporting me. And uh, now, if you ever need to tune your guitar to a weird frequency, this video is uh, hopefully a handy little guide for you. Thanks for watching, and uh, let me know if you have any, any other questions about tuning. I'd, I've gotten some in the past. I want to maybe make a few more here and there to explain some of the common concepts, like how to tune down a half step, uh, drop D, um, double drop D, dad gab, all those things, many of which I don't have a ton of experience with, but I'm happy to share what I know with you. So until next time, my friends, I'll see you around, and bye-bye.